Hi everybody, this is Austin at the Best I Can Afford Antiques Channel. I've got a uh, box here. This is going to be on Austin's budget corner. I haven't ordered anything off of eBay in quite a while. I've been uh, paying my debt to somebody. <laughs> so, uh, let me see here. Oh my goodness! There's sticky tack on the inside of the box lid. And I've got rubber gloves on. And, uh, it's not conducive to uh, being able to get this open very well. Okay. Now, like I said, I paid uh, maybe either thirty-seven or forty dollars for this. I forget which. It was not expensive, and I think that it is art, and I think it is beautiful, and I think you guys are gonna like it. Now, this isn't the nicest piece I've ever seen, but you know what? I think I'd be lying to you if I said it wasn't beautiful. Oh, oh, my goodness. Hold on, bubble, bubble wrap was stuck to it a little bit. It seems like there's a little bit of sticky stuff on the back there. We'll have to clean it with alcohol later. Maybe not alcohol. Maybe something. I don't know. Let's get rid of the... Uh, Got his own little plate holder just ready to go. And oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Cloisonne is my absolute favorite thing. If you don't know what it is, you haven't watched my other videos, it's abundantly clear because I've got like 30 of them on it. But yes, besides my wife and cats, and Volvos. This is my one true love. Oh goodness. I mean this isn't even like this is a piece that you could have it could just be yours. Nobody's stopping you. Look at that beautiful white background. I mean I don't usually see especially Japanese pieces with a white background. Now this is a this is actually a signed piece it's got um it's got a pretty unique signature i like it quite a bit this is by oh goodness look at the back of that we're definitely gonna have to clean this fella up he had a big sticker there oh my goodness jeez and craw but this uh this is actually laid in there with wire just like the rest of the piece and that's the uh baseball signature of a company or a studio originally a man named inaba as you can see, this plate is actually in perfect condition, besides being kind of gross. Wow, and actually, that's a pretty magnificent little lip it's got right there. They're not usually, like, angled out like that. I mean, that's actually pretty well done. This is a very nice little dish. God, and look at that. I mean, you know, I was kind of worried that this almost looked, like, generic from the ad. And don't get me wrong, I've seen ones that have a little more detail in these circular flowers and a little bit more shading in these big flowers, but I mean, for $37.50, I'm pretty sure is what I paid for this. This is a gorgeous thing. It's it's displaying open wire work and stuff. It's got some wires in the, in the tree. Oh my goodness, I love that tree bark. Look at that. Well, that's gorgeous. Yeah, I think I won this in an auction for thirty-seven fifty. so I don't know why you were unwilling to pay more for this, but it's at my house now. Live in regret. See? I told you. I've told you in several videos. <laughs> if you want something, the only thing stopping you is money and uh, probably someone you love's aggravation with how much money you spent. Now, fortunately, I've got a gorgeous wife that genuinely appreciates these things. And I, ah, oh, I can't believe how well shaded that rock and that tree are. I'd really like to, I'd really like to continue focusing up on them just a little bit here. I don't want to, I don't want to bother you with mundane details like, oh, I went to the best if I can afford antiques channel and, uh, he was just showing me rocks. <laughs> Look at this tree, guys. I don't care. Look at this rock. Look at these trees. It's actually amazing. Like, the shading they did on that to represent, like, lichen, I would assume, 
just perfectly like that. I mean, that's very, that's a very nice charger. I, it's not a charger. That's usually bigger than a plate. I sometimes interchange that term with a, uh, a plate that's strictly for display, but that's not really correct. And you see all the wires in them. I mean, somebody actually worked hard on this, and somebody did beautiful shading. I mean, that is genuinely gorgeous. I love that fence, that whirly gig fence around the border. And yeah, a company called Inaba. And I would think that, I would think somebody would respect this more than $40 worth if the right people saw it. I think that's a beautiful thing. Probably just after the Meiji era. <clears throat> but I do think they, uh, I think Inaba worked for quite a while there. So, you know, this could be, uh, this could be 1950s. I'm, I'm not really positive. I do know that I've seen examples that looked a little more detailed, but that is shaded so beautifully. I mean, that is really a pretty splendid little thing. And for $40, to get a white plate with that beautiful shading, I mean, that's... I'm really not sure why no one else bought that. Because, yeah, I think uh, I think it's really good. I mean, I have several pieces of cloison. I don't... I don't remember the last time I saw like a big open white border on a piece like that I mean a uh, background that border so yeah as always you know let me know what you guys think I mean Austin's budget best I can afford antiques corner uh, yeah we did all right that's two pieces of like really well done cloisonne that we've gotten for uh, forty dollars so man if you guys are looking for deals on something that's going to be more valuable in the future than it is now, oh, buddy, go buy some cloisonne. Seriously. I mean, I hate to even do that because now you're going to be bidding against me, but for $40, you don't want that? That's like, uh, you know, maybe maybe a hundred year old crushed glass and, and minerals that they, you know, melted into those wires after they formed beautiful little flowers and trees and moss and and to get those different shades, especially like in the rock and the tree there, they would have had to add color and then throw it in the kiln and then pull it back out and sand it down and then add another color and then put it back in the kiln, sand it down, uh, repeat the process, you know, however many times it required to get those different shades in there. I mean, the, the leaves have different shading. If you look, um, sorry, sorry, hold on. I've got a jumble here. So if you look at the leaves here, I mean, they've got beautiful light green at the tips and then, you know, fading to darker green throughout the whole thing. All these flowers have different shades throughout them. I, I mean, this is actually a very well done piece. There isn't any uh, run over from the other colors, really. Like, look at this yellow right here. I mean, he's perfect. He doesn't, uh, he doesn't bleed into any of the other coloring or anything. I mean, this is really a very well done thing. and I'm very happy I got it. What do you guys think? I think we'll, uh, I think we'll wrap up with that little close up there, but I wanted you to see this and I didn't realize how beautiful it was. I'm, I'm actually very impressed. Uh, I will try and get more Inaba pieces, I think, whether they're old or new. I, I genuinely respect this as a thing. So yeah, um, as always, like, share, subscribe, comment, tell me what you think. I'd really love it if people like shared videos like this. It'd be awesome. I'd, I'd like to be uh, internet famous just for buying cheap, nice stuff, maybe helping you guys do the same. But, you know, whatever. Whatever happens, I'm going to keep buying it, and uh, we'll see what happens. <laughs> This is Austin at the Best I Can Afford Antiques channel. I hope you guys like this stuff.